So Krista, you could go ahead and call a meeting to order. Okay, yes, good evening. This is Krista McNamara, your town clerk. I'm going to call this meeting to order the annual meeting, November 8th, 2021. Uh, welcome all. We're going to begin by taking a roll call vote. It will be done by district alphabetically. Um, Kate, if you could unmute or Cecil, whomever, and we'll go through a roll call as quickly as possible. Okay. Okay. Um, everybody, oh, let's try that again. Looks like I'm having some people. My big unmute button is not working for everybody. So um, I'm trying to go through and get everybody unmuted. Okay. I guess while Kate is doing that, just so I can give you a little bit more heads up all the following the roll call, all members who were sworn, who were on the ballot on Tuesday, sworn in. And we'll do that after the roll call. And Chris, I'd like to add one thing that if people have um, trouble with the with their muting and unmuting and um, or want to send a message, there's the question box. And and if we put in some comments or questions saying, you know, I'm here or whatever with your name, then that goes to Cecil and Kate and we can record that information. <laughs> Kate, do you want me to do a mute all? I'm trying to unmute people. Okay. Chris, are you starting with District 1? Bert von, Stup Bert von Stupnabel has a, a hand raised. Right. Go ahead, Bert. You're unmuted. Yes, it wasn't working well before. Uh, if you don't uh, click on that little sign that is the, looks like a snowflake, snowflake. Um, you're not on. So I hope everyone is on now. I think I've got all of <sighs> Okay, I'm trying to unmute District 1 and I'm having difficulty with some people. Myself. Okay. All right. Krista, I think that you are good to go with District 1. People will have to unmute themselves when your name is called. Krista, go ahead. Okay, we'll begin by just one alphabetically. I apologize in advance for anyone whose names I mispronounced. Baldwin. Here. Sarah Baldwin. Here. Barsani. Here. Rockman. Here. Gardner here. Butler. Curtis Butler. He's on. He's on. I can see him. Butler is here. Thank you. Here. Patrick Kane is present. Chair Wesley. Oh, 
Lublin. Here. McNichol. Here. Sorry. I'm here. Mitchell. Here. She's here. Snyder. Here. Ward. Here. And Shippenagel. Here. Wong. Here. Colin Kelly, I'll circle back once. Okay, that closes District 1. Okay. Let me know if I'm good to go on to. You should be good to go on to the only person I seem to be having a problem with. Um, uh, Mia Handler, I was having a problem with, but. Okay, looks like you're good. Okay, Argenbaugh. Bacon. Here. Casolo. Here. Cusack. Here. Handler, Mia Handler. Here. Suzanne Handler? Here. Howe? Hudson? Here. Holt? Here. Miller? Here. Mix? Here. Russell? Cheryl Russell? Hang on. Okay, go ahead, Cheryl. You hear me? Here. Yep. I'm here. Okay, Cheryl Russell's here. Clara Sartori? Clara Sartori? Yes, I am here, present. Barbara Thorne? I don't have her as present. Okay. Uh, Michael Wheeler? Here. Wheeler is present. Wilson. Is that Penelope Wilson, you're self muted. Sorry, here. Wilson is here. Uh, Argenball, circling back. James Howe. Barbara Thorne. Okay, that closes out District 2. Okay. For people who don't have their district number in front of their names, just you're going to have to be a little patient with us while I find you when she calls you. Okay. I think we've got three. Good. Okay. Three. Cardone. Hang on. Cardone should be okay. You're free. Here. Thank you. Conniff. Present. Conniff is here. Davis. Here. Davis is here. Giordano. Heavy. Giordano is here. Golas. Yeah. Here. Here. I'm, I'm sorry. Could we go back? Golas, is that? Could you confirm? Here. Lane. Here. Lane is here. Marusik. Here. Marusik is here. Zoe. Here. Zoe is here. Mitchell. Here. Mitchell. Here. Mitchell is here. Moore. Here. Moore is here. Morton. Steph, you need to unmute. He's oh, you're going to let me unmute. Yes, I'm here. 
been pressing the button and it wasn't unmuting. Okay, I'm here. Ruddy? Present. Ruddy is here. Masheka? I just saw him. Here, yeah, here. Masheka is here. Zimmerman? Here. Zimmerman is here. That closes District 3. May I interrupt for a moment, Krista? Sure. Um, Cassie McSary says that she was not called as part of uh, District 1. Uh, I marked her as present. Someone must have answered for her. Okay. <laughs> District 4? I think you're good to go. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, Banks? Here. Banks is here. Bot? Here. It is here. Bronca? Here. Bronca is here. Cameron? Here. But he's self muted. Cameron's here. Cameron is here. Castles? Here. Castles is here. Christ. Here. Christ is here. Domitner. Present. Domitner is present. Guller. Hang on a second. Okay. Dan Guller. I see him here. He's unmuted. Dan Guller, are you present? Okay, moving on. Canigan. He sent a message. He's here. Okay. Canigan. Canigan, here. Present, Canigan. Thank you. Kemp. Kemp, here. Kemp is present. Maselli. Joe, hang on. Okay. okay, he was missing his number. Okay, Joe, you're good. Okay, here. Perfect. Thank you, Joe. Um, Millar. Millar here. Present. Uh, Oben. Oben here. Oben present. Ray Hill. Brian Ray Hill. Here. Ray Hill present. Raymond? Here. Raymond is present. Savage? Present. Savage is present. That closes out District 4. Krista, you got that Guller is here? I do. Thank you. Let me know when we're good for District 5. Oh. Um, oh, it's got 49. I seven. think we are good with 5. Let's see. No, yeah. Uh, looks good. We've got some people self-muted. Oh, hi. That's me. Okay. I think we're good. Mark Adeletta. Mark Adeletta here. Adeletta's present. Bain. David Bain here. Bain present. Fiveson. I don't see him. Kelly. Here. Kill chorus. Here. Kill chorus. McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Try that one again, Krista. There were, there were other people talking. McLaughlin. How do you spell it? M C. M C L A C. Offline. Um. He's going to have to take a minute. So. Chris Newman. Here. Chris Newman here. Aaron Newman. Here. Aaron Newman is here. 
Uh, Patrick. Uh, James Patrick is here. James Patrick is here. Tashi Gray. Can you repeat that name, Krista? Tashi Gray, P E S C E. Thank you. Founder. Um, Pesci Gray, you have to unmute. There you go. She's here. Pesci Gray is here. Mm -hmm. Platt. Here. Platt is here. Reed. Here. Reed is here. Sherwood. Here. Sherwood is here. Smith. Present. Smith is present. Zebatakis. Here. Zebatakis is present, and that is District 5. Okay. Okay, I think you're good to go with six. Krista. Um, six. Okay, yeah. Uh, Carrie Cardone has her hand raised. Can we come back to her after we deal with District Six, please? You bet. Edelman, I'm sorry, Edelman? Frank Edelman is here. Okay, thank you. Edelman is here. Baldwin. Here. Baldwin is here. Go here. I'm sorry, go here. Yep, I'm here. Okay, go to here. Grogan. Hang on. She's got to unmute herself. Janet Grogan. District. Just raised her hand. She's here. Okay. Um, pardon me. Watson. Here. here, Lucas. Hang on a second. I had to mute her before. Go okay. ahead, Lucas. Go ahead. Yes, I'm here. Lucas is here. Luz. Here. Luz is here. Orfanos. Here, Orfanos is here. Orfanos is here, Poli. Hang on. Go ahead, Mr. Poli. You need to unmute yourself. Mr. Poli, you need to unmute yourself. There you go. Richard Poli. I see him on the screen and unmuted, but I don't hear him. All right, we're going to circle back. Silsby? Silsby? Okay. I don't see him. Taylor? Here. Taylor is here. Van Loan? Go ahead. He's Van Loan? Yes. Hello. Okay. Van Loan is here. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Vote. Here. Vote is here. Uh, Werner? Here. Werner is here. I'll switch back quickly. Uh, Poli? Richard Poli? Please unmute yourself. He's he's unmuted. I but okay. Um, and then Silsby. I don't think Silsby is here. 
Okay, I like the roll call for those of you um, who responded. Thank you very much. Krista? Yes. Um, Harry McLaughlin, do you have him as here? Um, he is on a phone, but unable to get audio. Um, he had not responded, but so no, but thank you. Right, that was the one, Krista, I had to send him um, a pin to unmute himself. Right. Oh, okay. And uh, may I uh, uh, say there's a question? I don't know if this is the appropriate time for it, but uh, let me ask it. Uh, it is from Frank Edelman. Can you describe how preference forms will be handled this year? I don't think I received one. Um, yes, but before we keep going on the meeting, I certainly will address that. I would like to swear in those members who are on the ballot on Tuesday because they technically have not even joined the RTM. But I'll certainly address that, and that's a fair question. Thanks. Okie doke. Moving on. Um, well, congratulations to all of everyone who was on the ballot, was elected to serve for the RTM. What I'm going to do is I will read the oath once and per council have been advised that i will again need to require a verbal confirmation of your acknowledgement of the oath so the oath will be said once and if each member could then indicate yes or no depending upon uh, preferably yes i will get through these and then we'll move on to further announcements okay so, um, Kate, I'm not sure how you can unmute just those who are on the ballot. I'm going to have to unmute everybody. Okay. I do believe that everybody should be unmuted doing my best okay um if i can't get confirmation from an audio perspective we can always set up a time you can come into town hall um to be sworn in um I'm not sure if Wayne can maybe opine. We can, I can take a swearing in based upon. I think if you read the oath, I think we're good. Okay, as long as I can get verbal confirmation from each individual. Okay, so for those of you who are on the ballot on Tuesday, could you please raise your right hands? Trust that you're doing so. <clears throat> Do you solemnly swear that you will faithfully discharge according to law your duties as a member of the Darien representative town meeting, the town of Darien, to the best of your ability to help you God? We'll begin with district one. Yes. Louisa Brockman. Yes. Heidi Baumgardner. I do. Keen. Patrick Keen. Yes. Colin Kelly. Eric Lublin. Yes. Karen McNichol. Yes. Noah Schneider. Yes. Jenny Schwartz. I do. Bird von Stubernagel. I do. Wonderful. Um, Colin Kelly, circling back once. Okay. Moving on to District 2. Vincent Argenbaugh. Moving on. William Cusack. I do. Mia Handler. I do. Suzanne Handler. I do. Jeff Hudson. I do. Jackie Miller. I do. Iris Mix. I do. Dan Gail Holt. Yes, I do. Wonderful. Moving on to District 3. Carrie Cardona. Carrie? 
Can you give me that name again? Gary Cardone. Thank you. All right, go ahead. Yes. Uh, Adele Conniff. I do. Holly Giordano. <clears throat> I do. I do. Eric Golas. I do. Elizabeth Lane. I do. Carolina McGoey. I do. Sue Ellen Mitchell. I do. Thomas Moore. I do. Seth Morton. I do. Kirk Ruddy. I do. Wonderful. That is District 3. Moving on to District 4. Martha Banks. I do. Jim Cameron. I do. Uh, Christine Castles. I do. Dan Guller. I do. Eric Hannigan. Yes. Frank Kemp. I do. Joe Maselli. Hang on a second. Okay, Joe's good to go. I'm sorry, Joe, is that a? Joe has to unmute. I do. Wonderful. I do. Sandy Savage. I do. I do. Wonderful. Moving on to District 5. Fiveson. I do. I do. I'm sorry. Was that response? Laura Pesci Gray. Hang on a second. Okay, she's she's unmuted. You're gonna Laura, call need to call her again. Laura Pesci Gray. Wadi Plot? Yes. And Reed? I do. I do. Um, if your district is not being called, please stop. <clears throat> We're still in District 5. Kenneth Fiveson? James. Laura Pesci Gray? <laughs> Bill Smith? I do. Okay, I'm sorry, that was Bill Smith? Yes, that was. Okay, thank you. All right, we'll no, move was, on. Or Pesci Gray has her hand raised. I, I, not, I cannot take a swearing in based on a. Yep. Krista, this is Mac Patrick. Did you call me? Yes. Okay, I do. Okay, good. Outstandings then is still Laura Pesci Gray and Kenneth Fiveson. If either of you could unmute. I don't think Mr. Fiveson is here. Okay. Ms. Gray is unmuted, but doesn't seem to be able to. Okay, I'll um, move on perhaps okay. before we vote. She'll... Okay, moving on to District 6, Barry Baldwin. Sorry, I had to unmute him. 
Uh, I do. Okay, perfect. Mary Nevin Gautier. I do. Janet Rogan. Janet Rogan. I do. Liza Lucas. Thank you. Liza Lucas. Yes, I do. Martha Luz. I do. Order, Peter Orfanos. I do. Shannon Silsby. I don't believe she was here. Yep. Uh, Bill Van Loan. Hang on. Here you go. He's unmuted. I do. Perfect. Teresa Vote. I do. Okay, wonderful. Thank you all. Uh, congratulations to, for those of you who answered in the affirmative. We're now members of the Darien RTM and are eligible now to assume all the duties and responsibilities as a member representing your district. Krista? Yes. Uh, do you require an audio response? Uh, it, apparently, Laura Pesci Gray's audio is not working, but she uh, in the question area has said I do. I would prefer to speak with her directly. I am not comfortable swearing in based okay. on. Thank you. Um, but we'll make sure it, it gets done. Um, and maybe she can maybe call. My, I'll put my <laughs> cell phone. I don't know how else to work around that, unfortunately. Um, OK, so that takes care of the opening. Uh, the roll call and the swearing in of can anybody can I, this is Laura Pesh Gray. I'm I'm here, but I'm having audio issues with my computer, so I do. Okay, perfect, fantastic, Laura. Welcome, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, congratulations to you all. At this point, we'll turn the meeting over to Lois Schneider, who serves as the um, nominating committee for the role of moderator, which is the first now step in the order of business to um, select a moderator uh, to conduct going forward for the 2021-2022 year. Lois? Thanks, Krista. Um, I'm Lois Schneider. I was a vice chair of the RTM Rules Committee for the past year and therefore chair of the nominating committee. I'm going to do something out of the ordinary, but I would first like to, I would like to do some thank yous and then go do a quick overview of how the meeting will run so that we're all on the same page for tonight. Um, I, the, I would like to take this opportunity for some thank yous for a lot of people that have done a lot of hard work to make the RTM meetings function. Our switch over to virtual could never have been accomplished without the teamwork that has gone on. Besides using and learning the technology, we have been subject to the governor and state legislators' decisions, which have changed throughout the year, and, on, and their lack of understanding of how RTM should work. I want to thank the members of my technology committee, Mike Wheeler and Mark Adeletta, for all the work and great thinking they've done. Kate Bush, Seth Morton, Wayne Fox, Cecil Wade, and Krista McNamara have all worked very hard to support the RTM, and I apologize if I've missed anyone. Um, and to all the members of the RTM, thank you for your flexibility and quick learning and patience as we keep making this work. Um, I'm just going to do a quick overview so you know what's coming. Um, we're going to elect a moderator, and then we're going to have do the standard RTM meeting, we we'll turn the meeting over to the moderator, we'll do the standard um, preliminary activities of an RTM meeting, then we're going to elect members of the Board of Ethics, then we're going to vote on resolution 2130, and um, then we're going to break off into the district caucuses, and we'll provide more as we go forward. If you have any questions, just let us know, please, okay? So I'd, I'd like to now um, go for the, um, Krista, as I understand it, we have one um, nomination for the moderator and that's Seth Morton. Do you have any other mod uh, nominations? No, no other nominations were received from either the survey for self-nomination nor through um, responses from email if people wanted to nominate someone other than themselves. 
Okay, but, I'd like to now yeah. ask for anyone have any nominations from the floor. Um, Kate, can you check and see if anyone, please raise your hand. And if so, Kate, could you unmute them and, and let we hear from them? I am not seeing any hands raised. Okay, so we'd like to close the nominations. Um, do you want to do a poll or do you want to just ask for any objections to closing the nomination? Uh, I think we have a poll. Oh, to closing the nominations. Okay. I would ask you, yeah, you'd want to do a, um, see if there are any objections to closing. Is, are there any objections to closing the nominations? Raise your hand if you have an objection. Okay, I'm not seeing any hands raised. Okay. Um, if there are no other people, so do we close the nomination? Are there any objections to closing the nomination? Please raise your hand. I see no hand raised. Okay, with Seth being the only nominee, then without objection, Mr. Morton is elected by acclamation. Is there any objection to this? I see no hands raised. Then I'd like to congratulate Seth and uh, turn the meeting over to him. Thank you, Seth. Thank you, Lois, and thank I thank all of you for putting your trust in me for another year. Uh, it's it's an honor and uh, I will do my best to uh, to uh, uphold and uh, and uh, continue to serve you all. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I, I appreciate Lois going through a lot of the people who have helped out here to make these virtual meetings possible. Um, and uh, I, I would simply mention uh, town council, because every time uh, we would make up our mind on uh, how we ought to think a meeting ought to run, we would go to town council to make sure it was legal. And uh, you think it's easy, but when you have as many different uh, variables as, as Lois described, uh, trying to assure yourself that you're doing things the right way is not simple. So uh, many thanks uh, to, to all of you, and uh, we'll just uh, keep working together and keep making it happen. I will stick in the back of your minds that at some point in time, we might actually be able to meet together face to face. That would be a great treat for me, and uh, I'm sure at the right moment, uh, something that uh, you would all welcome as well. Um, so moving forward, um, without objection, I'll accept the uh, agenda. Is there, are there any objections? I don't see any hands raised, Seth. All right. Uh, we have, uh, then uh, we'll uh, accept the agenda as distributed and uh, We'll move to announcements. Krista has some announcements. Yes, thank you so much, Seth, and congratulations. Um, so for the members, all members of the RTM, for those of you who are new, uh, will be placed, every member will be placed on a committee. There are several standing committees of the RTM. Tomorrow morning, you're going to each receive an email with a survey monkey in which you were asked to, similar to what you did with the moderator and the Board of Ethics, to indicate which committees you would like to serve on, what your qualifications or how your background relates to any of those committees. Um, please put your name on the survey and that information will be distributed to the Rules Committee who will meet next Monday and to begin with the district members and representatives to assign all members to a respective committee. So that email will be going out tomorrow. I would like to have those results back by th uh, Thursday, at three o'clock. It literally should take you just a few minutes to fill out. Then I can get those results to the rules committee so they have adequate time to prepare for their meeting on Monday. Um, are there 
Any questions on that? Any hands? Nope, no hands. Okay, perfect. Okay, the other item to address as following the election on Tuesday, we still have a couple of openings and I'm just looking for my notes. Okay, so moving through the different districts. District one, there is one opening available again this will and this will be for a one year term anyone caucusing in now is eligible only for a one year term district two there are no openings the eligible slots were filled on november 2nd district three there are two openings each of which for one year terms district four you have one opening, again, for one year. District five, you have two openings, again, for one year. And finally, district six, you have three openings available for one year terms. And that is the conclusion of my announcements, unless there's any questions. Okay, thank you very much, Krista. Um, there's a lot uh, going on tonight, a lot of information pouring out. Um, I'll give you a little bit more here. Um, in order to caucus, uh, you first have to have the town clerk announce, uh, caucusing now, I'm just talking about filling seats in the RTM. Uh, the you have to wait for the town clerk to announce the vacancies which she just did so starting from now you can uh schedule a caucus as long as it's 10 days or more out from today you have a 10-day window uh going out from today and then you can start having your caucuses uh to fill uh seats in your district uh <clears throat> generally it's it's people who um, get the, the most votes. And um, when you're caucusing, you would like to have uh, most of your representatives from the district present one way or another. Uh, you're given, a, because it's a caucus, you're given a lot of freedom uh, in how you put your meetings together, but you do want your district well represented because it's an important function to add people into the RTM. So those are the guidance that I would give you. Um, and uh, we would, we could, you know, I, I wanted to do some of it tonight, but you really can't because there's, we have a 10 day window that, that uh, we have to observe before we could start caucusing. So that's, that gives you the last of the announcements from me. Um, so the next thing we'll do is uh, move to approval of the minutes. Um, can I have a motion to approve the minutes of October 18? Sandra Savage. And can I have a second, please? Michael Costolo. Are there any changes, additions? If you have any changes, please raise your hand. I'm not seeing any, Seth. Okay, uh, then we'll uh, proceed to uh, to vote. Uh, I can send the poll out. We'll poll.
Okay, coming up on a minute, you have 95% have voted yes, 93% um, have, a, I'm sorry, 5% have abstained. Uh, okay, uh, the motion passes. Uh, next, uh, we'll um, hear from Krista uh, going through orientation, roles of RTM members, standing committees, freedom of information requirements. So, uh, Krista. Okay, each of your uh, members were mailed out a packet on Wednesday. I understand some of you have not received that, so my apologies for the U.S. mail. Um, in that packet will contain all the information regarding Freedom of Information Act, roles of the RTM members. Um, so I, I really don't have a whole lot to report here, but I did want to add on to the <clears throat> back on the survey, which you'll receive tomorrow in which you'll indicate which of the four, um, your top four choices for committees. In addition to that, there's a, a new question that's being asked of RTM members. So this is important, even if you have been on the RTM. Uh, there was a motion made in last year's term to offer the ability for RTM members to receive communication electronically. That question, so that's the warning of the meeting, the agenda, um, resolutions, et cetera, backup material, which you had received electronically. When you receive this survey, please indicate if you are comfortable receiving this information electronically, or if you would like to still have this information mailed to you through the US Postal Service. So I just wanted to mention that that's a new question that you all RTM members will be asked this year. Um, and to clarify, uh, as we're looking at Robert's rules here, for those of you new, again, and this question came up last year, as far as a caucus goes, a caucus is not subject to the same Freedom of Information Act requirements. And Wayne, if you want to comment here at all, um, caucuses are not subject to the same Freedom of Information Act requirements as are required by general meetings as far as warnings, um, forums, et cetera. So I just wanted to make that note as your respective committees and districts break out for caucus meetings. And that's what all I have. Chris, let me just add that I agree with you. I've checked that out with the FOI Commission. They are in fact treated differently and they, they don't have to be concerned with respect to the FOI requirements. Okay, does anyone have any questions on that? I know this came up last year, so it would be an opportunity for anyone who has <coughs> questions on that. If you have a question, go ahead and raise your hand. I'm not seeing any, Krista. Okay, perfect. Well, if the questions come up along the way, I'm happy to help Wayne and, of course, Seth as your moderator. And then I think you're ready to move on to Board of Ethics, Seth, unless there's something else you wanted to have addressed here. No, uh, that's great. We will move to election of the Board of Ethics, uh, three new members. Um, we have um, some uh, nominations. Uh, we have uh, Curtis Butler, Jim Cameron, Michael Casalo, Jack Davis, Barbara Thorne. Um, before we proceed further, uh, I will recognize Jack Davis uh, uh, to offer any comments on his nomination. Uh, this is Jack Davis, District 3. I'm very honored that somebody put my name in for being on the Ethics Committee, but I will decline. Um, I believe we have four very good candidates to fill the three spots, and my name definitely doesn't need to be amongst them. But thank you for nominating me. Uh, thank you very much, Jack. Um, are there any uh, further nominations from the floor? If you would like to nominate someone, please raise your hand to be unmuted.
I'm not seeing any hands raised, Seth. All right, then. Um... Um, no, this is Krista again. I'm sorry that no other nominees came in via email today. Okay. Great. Thank you, Krista. So if, um, if there are no other nominees, uh, then we will go ahead to um, vote. And um, it's going to take. Uh, excuse me? Beaches, Seth? I missed that. Beaches. The candidates get two minutes to speak? Uh, yes. So um, I'll start um, with uh, uh, Curtis Butler. Okay, give me a second. Let me find him. Thank you for that, Kate. Uh, okay, Mr. Butler, you're unmuted. Thank you very much. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. All right, thank you. I'll be very brief. Good evening, everyone, and congratulations to the newly elected and re-elected members of the RTM. As you heard, my name is Curtis Butler, a representative of District 1. I've lived in Darien with my wife and two daughters for the past eight years and have served on the RTM for nearly all of that time. Professionally, I've worked in the finance industry for more than 25 years and I'm a registered securities principal supervising other investment professionals, ensuring compliance with the rules and standards of the practice of the industry. What this means is I'm responsible for conflicts of interest among all of the reps that I supervise, which is a function I understand is a very important responsibility of our town's board of ethics. On a more personal note, I believe anyone who knows me well would attest that honesty, integrity, and discretion are among my highest ideals. And I'm a firm believer that the community that elected us deserves to feel confident that the government business conducted in its name is done so in an ethical and honorable manner. To that end, I'd be honored to serve Darian as a member of the Board of Ethics, and I ask for your support. Many thanks. Thank you, Curtis. Uh, <clears throat> next, uh, Jim Cameron. Okay, Jim, you're unmuted. Can you hear me okay? We can. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Seth. Jim Cameron, District 4. I have uh, been a resident of Darien for over 30 years. I have served on the RTM for over 20 years. And I have been a member of the Board of Ethics for at least five years in different terms. Uh, I am the uh, founder and program director of Darien TV 79. And as such, I was able to distribute to all of the RTM members last night a link to a Board of Ethics meeting, a rare public meeting last year, in which we explained how the Board of Ethics operates. And I hope that you had a chance to take a look at that uh, Vimeo and have a better understanding of what the Board of Ethics does and how it operates. I would be honored to receive your support for another uh, term on the Board of Ethics. And uh, I look forward to uh, continuing the uh, the work of the RTM and and uh, and maintaining the high ethical standards with which we operate. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Very nice, um, Michael Casalo. Okay, go thank ahead. You, thank Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Seth. Um, and thank you, RTM, for giving me a couple of moments here. Um, I'm Michael Casalo, District 2. Um, I currently serve on the Planning, Zoning, and Housing Committee of the RTM and have previously um, sat on public um, works and education during my earlier terms on the RTM. Um, I also represent the RTM on the Blight Commission, and I have been on the RTM for a total over a few different stints of about 10 years. Um, my additional experience in Darien has been on the Board of Education for three years, the Elementary School Building Committee, uh, and two terms on the Board of Ethics uh, in the past, one year as its chair. I've been on various other boards and committees in town, um, both um, philanthropic and um, other organizationally. My wife and I moved to Darien immediately upon uh, getting married um, in 1991, 
And then, and other than two stints where we lived in Northern California during that window, we have been in Darien um, as our home um, the whole time. Um, our two daughters have attended Topanique Middlesex and Darien High School. Uh, I'm interested in returning to the Board of Ethics um, after being back on the RTM for a couple of years now and believe that my town and professional experience positions me well to serve Darien in this key and, and very sensitive role uh, and to maintain, help maintain our high level of ethics and um, be part of that governance process. Um, from my experience, I have a strong understanding of the function of the board and its mission, and also what its mission is not. Uh, um, professionally, I'm a licensed architect. Um, I have 25 plus years experience in corporate real estate with global leadership roles for two of the largest commercial real estate companies in the industry. Uh, as well as having served as head of workplace enablement for a major hedge fund. Uh, I'm currently the chief revenue officer for a global design and construction company. Um, I would be honored to return to serve to the Board of Ethics and I respectfully ask for your support tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you for uh, applying. Next, Barbara Thorne. Seth, I don't see that Barbara is here. Barbara Thorne did not respond in the yeah. call. I'm not seeing her in the room. I don't see her here. All right. Well, uh, this is uh, difficult, um, but um, in the absence of a candidate, um, I have no um, choice, I believe, than to recognize the three uh, candidates who have spoken uh, and uh, suggest to this body that you confirm them to the Board of Ethics uh, by acclamation. Can I, we have one hand raised? Can um... Yes, please. And Gail Holt? Yes. Hi there. Um, I, I just think that if someone else wants to speak on her behalf, it's okay. Um, I don't know if she has to be here. She's kind of on the ballot anyway. Yeah. Um, you have a point. You, okay, you have some, um, you have some other people with their hands raised. Do you want to take them or? Yes, yeah, I'll, I'll take them for sure. Okay, I saw Jack first. Mr. Davis. Yep, this is Jack Davis. I agree with Anne. I think uh, Barbara has been on the uh, board of ethics for a number of years. And um, I think that the RTM should be given an opportunity to vote for all four candidates for whoever they choose. Thank okay. you. Okay. Um, Thanks. Krista, Thank I, you, Jack. We, we, do we have a clarification? Um, has Barbara been sworn in? Uh, I am, let me go, I don't believe she was on the ballot. Let me go back. Hi, this is Clara Sartori from District 2. Um, Barbara was elected last year. Yeah. No, she's she's confirming. Yeah, she's 2022, so she was not sworn in. She is still uh, midterm. Oh, she wouldn't have to be. Yeah. Okay. But All right. So the next anybody... person whose hand was raised was Michael Casolo. Yes, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. I was just going to say that I don't unless there's a reason why um, Barbara cannot remain on the ballot. Um, I don't know that it's required for her to be present. I, I think that Barbara's name should be kept in nomination and should be um, a candidate for the role. All right. Um, 
you have a great point. So um, let's go ahead and proceed with Barbara's name included and uh, vote for any three. Okay, so it's Curtis Bea Butler, Jim Cameron, Michael Casalo, and uh, Barbara Thorne. Okay, we have one more question before we go. Okay. Um, Mr. Edelman? Yes, thank you. Uh, Seth, uh, I believe the Board of Ethics is the only part of the bar of the RTM where political party might be a consideration. Is that an issue this year, or can we vote for any three? Uh, you can vote for any three. It is an issue, but not in this configuration of uh, of candidates. Um, it, uh, we have uh, there are only. Uh, two Democrats uh, on the ticket uh, among the four, and that would not put us over the limit. We have two sitting Democrats now, plus two up for election. Uh, so, in the most difficult case, it would it would be you'd still only have four uh, Democrats on, and that's acceptable. Okay. Um, Mr. Edelman? Oh, no, thank you. That, that's helpful. All right. So let's go ahead and proceed with the vote. Have, thank I'm you. sorry, We're Seth. Here. We have one more hand raised. Oh, all Mr. right. Mr. Taylor? I, since our colleague, Mr. Edelman, uh, brought up a uh, party, uh, could we just review for all attendees, I guess, the... Uh, the, the parties assigned to the potential uh, candidates? Krista? Oh, what, what um, <clears throat> yeah, um, one second here. Uh, Curtis Butler is a Democrat. Uh, I think that's what you were asking. Uh, Barbara Thorne uh, is a Democrat. Um, Jim Cameron is unaffiliated. Uh, Michael Castillo, Michael, I have you either as unaffiliated or a Republican. That sound right? Which, which, uh, uh, Mr. Castle, if you want to raise your hand so I can find you and if you want to answer that. Go ahead. Am I unmuted now, Kate? You are, yeah. Yes, I am. I'm a registered Republican, Seth. Okay. So, um, since the maximum number of one party that we could have on the Board of Ethics is four, um, we will we will be okay here in this situation. Because the uh, two stated members are are Democrats. I didn't uh, quite, I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. You say the two is a two year term. So the other seated members are Democrats. Right. They're not up for election. Yeah, it's two for the ones being um, elected. And it's one more year for the ones who are seated. Are you ready for me to send the polling question? Yes. Okay, it's going to ask you to vote for three of the four. And the four, Curtis Butler, Jim Cameron, Michael Casalo, and Barbara Thorne.
Okay, it's been a minute. I'm going to close the poll. Um, the results show, and I, you know, I think <clears throat> Krista may want to confirm this after the meeting, but the results I'm seeing show that um, it would be Mr. Cameron, Mrs. Thorne, and Mr. Butler, but it is close between Mrs. Thorne and Mr. Casolo, so I think the town clerk is going to want to confirm that after the meeting. All right. Okay, Kate, I'll take a look at that information tomorrow and report back. Terrific. Unless you want to do a roll call, I don't know. That would be difficult with voting for three people. Yeah, I, I think uh, we have, we've recorded the votes, so I would, you know, I would just verify and, and get a, a count. Right, we'll see what the spreadsheet shows. Okay. Uh, so, um, with the election of the members uh, to the Board of Ethics, and we have that settled, um, then uh, we'll send an email out to allow you to let you know who uh, won the ele the election. Great. The uh, next item on the agenda is the uh, vehicle donation to at home uh, in Darien, uh, item 21-30. We don't usually do business on in these meetings, but um, because of the difficulties in obtaining vehicles, um, uh, it, we were asked to act on this. And so uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and proceed uh, to do that. Um, since the uh, there are no standing committees at the moment, because they, they'll be formed up here uh, next Monday night by the Rules Committee, uh, the Rules Committee asked the Public Health and Safety and the Finance and Budget Committees from the last session to report out on this item. That way, you would have some input and some analysis uh, before you uh, on on the item and on the uh, economics of the item. So, uh, speaking on behalf of the Public Health and Safety Committee, uh, I recognize Mac Patrick. Um, thank you, Seth. Um, I'm Mac Patrick. I, I have been the, the past chair of the Public Health and Safety Committee, um, but I'm going to go ahead and, and move Resolution 21-30. Do I have a second? Uh, yes, you do. Hang on a second. Uh, Penelope Wilson. Okay, thank you. Um, I, I, without objection, I waive the reading of the resolution. I see no objections. Okay, thank you. Um, so our committee, Public Health and Safety, met with the, the Finance and Budget Committee on Wednesday, October 27th. Um, on our committee, we had 10 of 16 members present, so we did have a quorum. Um, I, I did ask um, Kate Bush to speak regarding the, the gift. Um, she stated that currently the town has a minivan that is handicapped accessible and the donated van would replace that van. Uh, she also thanked everybody. She was very appreciative because this, this information came up rather quickly in mid-October. Um, she said that because at home in Darien is not a town entity, the town insures the vehicles and thus is required to own the vehicles. She continued to explain that the at home and Darien employees are on the town payroll. The organization reimburses the town for their cost and the cost of the gas. And that in the future, the at home and Darien director understands the arrangements and, and will be alerting the town on a much sooner basis. Um, she said they appreciate the Darien Foundation making the donation of the vehicle, and she stated that that this will be serving town residents. Um, we voted unanimously to approve this gift and we ask that the full RTM do the same. Thank you. Thank you, Mac. Uh, next, uh, I'll uh, recognize Jack Davis, Chair of the Finance and Budget Committee from the last session. Uh, this is Jack Davis, District 3. 
A um, couple of things for those that are new to the RTM. All gifts to the town with a value over $10,000 require both Board of Selectmen and RTM approval. Um, when Kate notified Seth and myself um, about this transaction, Kate and I spoke on how to expedite this because in reality, um, since the town will be owning the vehicle, um, they could not own it until they receive both um, approvals. On Monday, um, October 25th, the Board of Selectmen um, approved the um, donation. Um, as Mac explained, this is a unique uh, situation where the town owns the vehicles and pays for the insurance. Otherwise, most probably at Home and Dairy and that does phenomenal work in um, taking care of our citizens, getting them to hospitals and other places and doctor's appointments would not be able to operate under the current situation. The current vehicle being replaced is a 2014 Toyota Sienna with about 77,000 miles, and it's been modified for handicap accessible passengers. The new vehicle is a 2021 Toyota uh, Seneca Hybrid XLE Plus with a modification again for handicap accessible vehicles. Um, the modification was designed specifically for Toyota, done post manufacturer and allows for both wheelchair accessibility as well as easier accessibility for those um, using a mobility device such as a walker or cane. Um, we are accepting not money, but an actual vehicle of $82,880. And that's the amount being um, approved by the donor, um, the Darien um, Foundation. Um, they do estimate that the existing vehicle um, will be sold and the proceeds from that will return to at home at Darien because the town of Darien didn't buy the original vehicle. Um, during our joint meeting with um, the um, public health and safety and with uh, Kate Bush present, the um, former F&B committee voted unanimously in favor of this gift and we recommend the same to the full RTM. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Um, normally, at this point, I'd ask for other committees, but there are no other committees at the present time, technically. Um, I will ask if there are any um, town officials or representatives from at home in Darien who would wish to speak. I don't see anybody, Seth. Okay. Um, anybody from the RTM? If you want to speak, please raise your hand. I'm not seeing any, Seth. Okay. Any uh, Anyone from the public? I think you're good to go, Seth. Okay, uh, we're ready to vote. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, I'm going to close the poll. Um, the vote was unanimous. Great. <clears throat> Congratulations, the motion passes. Now the uh, formal uh, business of this body as a whole uh, is completed. Uh, 
the next step is for the districts to break out into caucuses uh, and they're going to be using Zoom sessions. Uh, the district uh, virtual causes uh, caucus URLs I, have been provided as I understand it. And they, so districts one, two, four, and five will start their Zoom sessions in about five minutes. Uh, after they are done, then district uh, districts three and six will follow uh, approximately 35 minutes later. And again, their Zoom addresses have been distributed. Uh, the uh, caucuses are opened by the longest continuous serving member in the RTM before uh, the chair, the vice chair, and the two rules committee members are uh, selected. Uh, once the chair is selected, then the chair takes over the meeting. Uh, <clears throat> if there are any contests for any of the positions, then voting can be done by polls in Zoom. And then, uh, so we will need a little time with each uh, contest to set the vote questions up if using the poll, but we figured out a way to do it, and so we, we will follow through with that. Uh, it's important for the new district chairs to submit the election results uh, to the town clerk in an email is fine, um, but uh, uh, should go out tonight or first thing in the morning. Uh, are there any questions? Vincent um, Argenbaugh? Yes, Vincent. You need to unmute yourself, sir. You need to unmute yourself. I'm sorry, Seth, he has his hand raised, but he's self-muted. Okay, there I'm muted. Go. Can you hear me now? Okay. Yes, we can. Um, I'm sorry, I just, I want to register that I, I, I did attend the meeting and I do swear in um, as District 2, a newly, newly elected uh, RTM member. Wonderful, okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Then I'm comfortable now with you uh, proceeding on to your district caucus and voting for the respective offices. All right. Are there any other questions? I'm not seeing any hands. So, oh, hang on. Okay. Well, well I'll, take a, I'll take a motion to adjourn then. Wait, we, Seth, you have one more person. Rolf Oven, you need to unmute yourself, sir. There you go. Okay. Mr. Oben. I don't know. Um. Amy Barsanti. Hi, Amy. Hi there. Uh, just a, a procedural question when we caucus. Um, to the extent that there's any difficulties with people getting into the second meeting, um, are people absent, not eligible for chair, vice chair, or rules if they're not present? Well, um... The, this the the great thing about caucuses is that you you're, you have much more latitude in how you conduct the meeting. So you could have some on a conference call, some on Zoom, you know, uh, some uh, I suppose uh, emailing you or texting you. Uh, just so long as you can identify the person and feel comfortable uh, accepting their input but they need to be present in some form or fashion yeah okay thank you but we've given them i'm trying to think of where in the world they could be that they couldn't <laughs> <laughs> they didn't they didn't mind getting up at two or three in the morning uh, you know seth, okay. seth to amy's point this is Krista again i just wanted to confirm uh, amy or other uh, most senior members, if there's anybody who joins in now who did not attend this meeting and did not get sworn in, 
they are not eligible to be voting even in this caucus. Right. Jack Davis. Um, Seth, can we have a uh, legal opinion? I'm not sure that somebody has to be present um, at the caucus to be voted in um, to um, any of the four roles that we will be doing. Um, it's, it's the vote of the caucus of who they're going to elect. Oh, I, um, I agree. I agree. Okay, I just wanted to say, so Amy, the answer to your question is, somebody does not need to be present in the caucus in order to be elected to one of those four roles. This, this is Wayne, Seth. I would agree with that. Yeah. But they must be sworn in to vote. Lois? Yeah, yeah, because they're not a member. But we can't, if somebody's not sworn in, so therefore not officially a member, we can't put them as a district chair, correct? Correct. Seth, let me, this is Wayne again. Let me ask, ask a question. Mr. X has been elected. He's been voted to be a member of the RTM. He has just not yet been officially sworn in. It would seem to me reasonable that he or she could be nominated and voted into a position subject to them being sworn in. Oh, there's an interesting way to do it. Uh -huh. Obviously, if they're not sworn in, if they do not become a member, even though elected, they do not become a member of the RTM, then they obviously can't hold that position. So it would be subject to being sworn in. All right. Okay, Amy Barsanti. Thanks for the clarity, Wayne. That that's very helpful. Thank you. Amy, I thought you mentioned could they had they had to be present in the room to vote. Just misinterpreted that. Okay. Any any okay. others? I don't see any other hands raised, and um, so off to your um. Zoom meetings. Uh, I'll uh, take a motion to adjourn this session. Wadi Plot. Second. Uh, Elizabeth.